just a few short weeks away from the greatest spectacle in all of sports entertainment, WrestleMania. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside, and we welcome you to WWE SmackDown. You know, Cole, there's already so many incredible matches being made for WrestleMania, but the one I'm really looking forward to is the main event. WWE Champ versus World Heavyweight Champ in a title unification match. You're absolutely right, Taz. It's the return of the undisputed title at WrestleMania. And the two greatest WWE superstars in the company today will battle for it. And you know that it's going to be a SmackDown's own WWE champ who's going to win it and prove that SmackDown is the dominant brand of sports entertainment. Yo, I'm sick of all this blind loyalty on SmackDown. You people are all just sheep. Kurt Angle has done nothing but screw me over for months. Everyone knows I should be wearing a WWE Championship around my waist right now. You know, I'm getting a little sick of all your whining and complaining. I don't have a lot of love for our WWE Champ. But he's representing SmackDown at WrestleMania, so maybe you should show a little more team spirit. Of course, that's assuming that the rumors aren't true, and you're not planning on jumping to Raw after WrestleMania. I'll do whatever it takes to make sure that our brand comes out on top. The best way to do that would be for our GM to give me a title shot right here tonight, so I can go on to WrestleMania as the champ and win the title unification match. Some strong words there from the WWE Champion. Hold it, hold it, hold it. What do you think you're doing? We're less than four weeks away from WrestleMania. We need a little brand unity here, guys. We can't afford a title feud now. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You guys obviously have some issues to settle. And the champ needs to keep off the ring rust. So I'll make a non-title, triple threat match tonight between the three of you. And that match is next. Did you hear that? We're still four weeks from WrestleMania. But we're going to see all three of these superstars battling it out in the ring tonight. I'd watch my back tonight if I was the champ. and welcome. Michael Cole and Taz here at ringside for an unbelievable evening of WWE action. This crowd's all fired up, Cole. They can't wait for the show to start, and neither can I. Let me tell you, I don't envy the referee tonight. That's because you're a chicken, Cole. <laughs> me, I'd love to be in the ring with these guys. Can they keep this up? John Cena calls himself a veteran, Cole. 
I don't know about that. I think I kind of disagree, but no doubt that he's the doctor of Thugonomics. He could be getting a little overconfident here. Stars is just a quick three count away from victory or defeat. What the? Those are raw superstars. What are they doing here? It looks like they're trying to take out the WWE Champion before WrestleMania. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's a good thing he showed up. I can't believe it. He's completely turned his back on SmackDown. This is not good, Cole. This is not good at all. You sure you're okay? That was a hell of a beating you took last week. I can't believe you'd be stupid enough to let yourself get ambushed a few weeks before the biggest match of your life. Well, I should warn you that there are Raw guys here again tonight, and they're looking for you. They're on their way to the ring right now. That sounds like a stupid idea to me. I'm coming with you. Me too. I can't believe how easy it was for you guys to ambush the WWE champ last week. Not only did no one come out to help him, one of his fellow SmackDown superstars helped you set him up. If that's what passes for brand loyalty here, I guess we know who's going home after WrestleMania with undisputed title. Is that so? Well, champ, which one of us do you want to take on? Take your pick. The WWE Champion has just challenged all three Raw superstars to a six-man tag team match. I'm not sure if it's such a good idea, Cole. On the other hand, it beats getting ambushed from behind backstage.
We're just moments away from what promises to be one of the greatest WWE events in history. I'm Michael Cole with Taz and Ringside. Hey, I totally agree with you, Cole, on that one. Everybody knows that don't happen much. I can't wait for tonight's show. Can you feel the electricity in the air, Taz? Absolutely, Cole. No disrespect to the Rock, but these guys are the most electrifying superstars in the WWE. Had a pretty rough childhood uh, with getting a uh, set on fire and all, but that's no excuse for his uh, brutality sometimes. Snooker, he's a real legend, straight up legend. I love this superfly. What an incredible glimpse of WrestleMania we just saw there, Taz. Yeah, Cole, but I gotta wonder if it'll be a different story when the champions have to face each other. That's Eric Bischoff. What's he doing here? I've got a proposition for Kurt Angle regarding the World Heavyweight Title, WWE Title unification match this Sunday at WrestleMania. A match as big as this should be an epic battle between two of the greatest WWE superstars of all time. And that's why we want to make it a Hell in the Cell match. I'm sorry. But we don't think that a Hell in a Cell match will do for the title unification. What? Is the WWE Champion afraid to meet the World Heavyweight Champion in Hell in a Cell? No, just the opposite. He thinks it isn't enough. We want to make it a three stages of Hell match. First match, a no disqualification single match. Second match, a first blood match. Third match, a hell in a cell match. Now, nothing's set in stone yet. We can always change that if your champion is afraid to. He's not afraid of anything. You've got your three stages of hell match, and I hope you choke on it this Sunday. Taz, I can't believe it. A three stages of hell match for the undisputed title this Sunday at WrestleMania. I'll be surprised if either champion survives that match. I want you two to act as special enforcers tonight. Make sure that no one from Raw gets into the building to attack the champ. Wait a minute. Are we sure that we can trust him? He did attack the champ from behind just a few weeks ago. Hold on there. I'm not making any apologies or excuses for what I did. And I couldn't really give a damn about you or the champ. But I respect that belt. And I respect this brand. If you've got a problem with me, we can settle it in the ring. After WrestleMania. But right now, like it or not, we've all got to stick together.
I'm glad that's settled. Now, champ, you've got to be prepared physically and mentally for the match at WrestleMania. So I've made a special non-title parking lot brawl match for you tonight. Get ready and stay sharp, guys. Fans are on their feet for some WWE action. You can hear the roar of this capacity crowd behind me. I can't hardly hear nothing. All this crowd is fired up. And so am I. Besides the win, what's on the line for the stars of this match? One word called pride. Pride. There's a lot of pride on the line in this. No one wants to be second. Best. WWE Hall of Famer Jimmy Snuka has given the fans so many memories over the years, and it looks like he's out to make some new ones tonight. He's got this match and this crowd in the palm of his hands. might have just turned the tide of this match. One, two, three. What an amazing display of athleticism that was. I think both... He did it. The champion is ready for this Sunday. He's going to bring the undisputed title home to SmackDown. This guy's incredible. There ain't a superstar on the Raw roster who can hold a candle to him. Would you look at that, Taz? I don't think the SmackDown superstars have ever been more focused or unified than they are right now. It's great to see, Cole, especially with so much on the line this Sunday at WrestleMania. WrestleMania, the showcase of the immortals. Michael Cole here with my broadcast partner Taz coming to you live on pay-per-view. They don't get any bigger than this one, Cole. WrestleMania is the pinnacle of sports entertainment, and it is really where it all begins again. After the dust settles tonight, the WWE is never gonna be the same. Can you believe the main event? A unification match for the World Heavyweight and WWE titles. The SmackDown and Raw champions will put their titles on the line to prove that theirs is the superior brand in sports entertainment. And it's not just one match, but a three stages of hell match. First, a no disqualification match, then first blood match, and if necessary, a deadly hell in a cell match. Whoever wins two falls wins the undisputed title. You know, Taz, I don't think SmackDown has anything to worry about tonight. I spoke to the WWE Champion earlier today, and he's in the best shape of his life.
Tonight, we will all witness what will go down as a landmark match in WWE history, a three stages of hell championship match at WrestleMania. And to ensure that this match is treated with the respect that it deserves, I vow to personally fire any superstar who interferes with the match or the participants. Likewise, if any physical altercation should take place before the match between the participants, the instigating superstar will be fired. Mr. McMahon is all business tonight. He is not fooling around. As well he shouldn't. This might be the most important match of all time. You are just moments away from the biggest match of your life. Champ, I gotta ask you, how are you feeling? I'm sorry to hear that, but that's exactly what I'm going for. And that means you're in for a very disappointing evening. May the best man win. Introducing the W. Michael Cole and Taz here at ringside welcoming you to another exciting evening of WWE action. I can't remember the last time I heard a crowd this fired up, Cole. They know tonight's show is going to be great. We've watched this rivalry built for weeks, and tonight with the title on the line, these superstars are going to settle the score once and for all. I feel sorry for anybody who gets the ring with Kane. They just asked him for a trip to the hospital. He could be getting a little overconfident here. You know, Taz, we're not going to see anyone back down from tonight's challenge. I know, I know. I, I hope these guys have some good health insurance because they're going to need it. WWE Hall of Famer Jimmy Snuka has given the fans so many memories over the years, and it looks like he's out to make some new ones tonight.
in this matchup. Undisputed champion. And I guess that makes SmackDown a dominant brand in sports entertainment. Cut the music, cut the music. I don't care if this is WrestleMania. Hold on just a second. Look, after what I just saw happen in this ring, I, I have a confession to make. I mean, I think I've had you all wrong. I doubted your courage. I doubted your ability, and I even doubted your, your testicular fortitude. I mean, you're the undisputed champion. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I apologize. I'm sorry. And to make it up to you, I, Eric Bischoff, would like to extend to you a personal invitation to join my show and defend your championship on Raw. What do you say, champ? I don't believe what I'm hearing. Yes, he's the undisputed champ, but he, he's SmackDown's undisputed champ. He can't jump shit now. Could Bischoff get any more treacherous? Don't go, champ. Don't go. Music, cut the music! Now what? Wait, it's Mr. McMahon! He must be coming down here to congratulate the champion on unifying the titles. This is history, Cole. Well, 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 what an overwhelming accomplishment you've achieved tonight, and what a way to end WrestleMania. You must be very proud of yourself. And the truth is, you should be. Today, you stand on the highest pinnacle that there's ever been in this great business. Well, actually, let me correct myself. Today, you stand on the second highest pinnacle. You see, you have indeed won your championship match at WrestleMania, and I believe you are the number one superstar in sports entertainment today. And though congratulations are definitely in order for these accomplishments, I need to remind you of just one thing you're not, and that's the boss. Yes, you may indeed be a great champion today, but Vincent Kennedy McMahon will always be the boss. You'll do well to remember that, by the way. So keeping that in mind, do you have anything to say to your adoring public? do that he just attacked mr mcmahon he just attacked the boss he can't do that can he 
I guess from now on, we'll have to see who the boss really is. Here at the close of WrestleMania, Mr. McMahon may have finally met his match.